How's it going YouTube? It's Iron Phoenix here again and I wanted to do a really quick video on how to use the Stat Manager add-on. It's actually extremely simple but uh, some of my guildies don't really use add-ons and they're, they're worried that they might do something wrong so I wanted to show a video real quick on how to use it. First of all you need insignias it doesn't matter if you have the permanent insignia, not the permanent, but the 30-day insignias here that, that are you can use over and over again. Or if you have the consumable ones, you just need to have insignias in your bag in order for this add-on to work. If you don't have the, um, the bar add-on that I have up here at the top, you'll have an S button somewhere on your screen. It'll just be a little square button that has an S on it, and that's going to be the stat manager add-on. The way you use this add-on is you click on the add-on. First of all, you set your stats exactly how you want them. Once you get your stats where you want them, then you go up here and you click the S button, and then you type the name of the stats, that you, uh, whatever you want to call it. If it's your PvE build, then you'll type in PvE uh, build or whatever, and you just hit the Enter button one time, and it saves the stats exactly how they are. And then if you want, uh, then after, you, um, after you've done that, then you change your stats to something else uh, such as your PvP build and then you type in PvP build for that one once you set it the way you want it. After you save those the next time you want to change your stats you just uh, as long as you have your insignias here in your bag you just click on the one that you want to change it to. Right now I'm in my PvP stats so say I want to change my build. Let me change my build real quick and go to my uh, my PvE build Turn my aspect on real quick. And you click up here and I'm going to uh, go to my uh, elemental PVE mage uh, setting right here. And I'm just going to click it one time. And I'm going to sit here and let you watch and you'll see that your stats are going crazy. It's going through all the different stats. Now this takes a little bit. It could take up 30 seconds to change your stats depending on how many moves it's got to make. It's just like you taking that insignia, clicking on it, and clicking on each piece of gear and going through all the different stats until it gets there. Now, uh, when it gets done, it will actually show a message in your side your chat that will tell you that it's done. For some reason, it's not showing it at the moment, so let me click it again and maybe it will po uh, pop it up this time. Yeah, see, you'll say stat manager and it will have this Russian uh, text or uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, uh, cleric or uh, celery text. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Anyways, it, when you see this message pop up in your uh, in your chat box, it's done. Now, you can move around while it's uh, changing the stats. You can click on one of these, and you can move around, and it'll do it as long as you're not getting a whole lot of lag. Now, if you lag out, it may lag the... Uh, it may lag the uh, add-on out and it may actually not uh, do all the stats and one of the stats might get messed up. But the cool thing about it is if it does mess up just one of them, all you got to do is go up here and click it again just one time and it'll fix whatever it needs to fix. Now the cool thing about this add-on is if you decide that you want to play a class that can use different types of stats, such as a mage, uh, when you're doing uh, a lot of AOE damage, doing trash pulls and stuff like that, it's actually better to run holy damage uh, for the trash pulls and elemental damage for your uh, your single target because you get more AOE damage out of holy with your comets. So this comes in real handy if I decide I want to switch my stats around and I just want to switch a certain amount of stats like just my offensive stats. And you can actually do that. Let me delete these. I don't need these in here. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. I just need to change some holy over. So, um, actually, I'm in my PvP uh, spec again. Let me get back into PvE one. Now, see, it takes a really long time to go from PvE to PvP because not only is it doing offensive stats, it's also doing the defensive stats. So, so going from a PvE to a PvP takes a lot longer than maybe just going from elemental to holy damage because you're only changing maybe four or five stats of gear. Uh, four or five uh, pieces of gear, I mean. Okay, so first of all, I want to go from 173 elemental damage and I want to put it all in the holy damage. So i got to find the pieces of gear that I'm using elemental on and I'm going to put them on determination because they don't take... Um, they don't take holy damage. 
and put it on determination and then I'm gonna put this one on determination oops I went over too far there we go and then it should be the weapons now these two can go on holy uh, both of your uh, weapons can go on holy and elemental so I'm just gonna swap it to holy swap this one to holy and then because I put these two pieces in determination I can go up here and take both of these uh, earrings to holy and then change this one to holy let's see where that puts me 174.6 which is just fine so now I can uh, go up here and I can type in holy PVE mage and then if I want to switch between those two real quick I click on elemental and it takes uh, probably about 10 to 15 seconds and boom see I now I'm already elemental and that was pretty fast compared to switching from the PVE to the PV PVE build and then if I want to go back to holy I click on that and it'll take uh, about 10 or 15 seconds and then it'll swap to holy and boom it's done already so it's really good if you're just swapping a few pieces of uh, a few stats around and it'll change them really really quick for you now depending on how many moves you make will depend on how long it takes that's what I was saying before so since I only changed one two three four five six pieces of gear it was really really fast to swap between those so it's really doable if you're playing a mage and you want to do more damage on, on trash pulls you can swap your stats real quick so anyways that's how the stat add-on works it's pretty simple it's really easy to use and it's an unlimited amount of uh, stats uh, stats that you can put in here or um, or should I say uh, uh, saving your stats you can have a list that goes all the way down the whole page depending on on what you're doing which is cool because if you like to change classes and you change them with your morpher to another class you can save that, save that class stats in here too and if you ever go back to that um, to that class you got it in here already and you don't have to resave it because if you're using just your main character and you swapping through different classes you'll have all your different stats in here and you once you save them all it's it's with this character as long as you don't uninstall the game so anyways that's it uh, so it's a real short video just wanted to show that real quick i hope you guys get some use out of this and if you do like and subscribe until next time i'll see you in the next video